beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. If you're brand new, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every single Monday or Sunday, depending on where you are in the world, helping you to deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. Now this week is an amazing week. We are in Aries energy, which is incredible because it's like we've been through all this watery energy um, and me as a fire sign, it's challenging and now we're going back to the beginning we're starting with Aries the beginning of the zodiac signs and we're going to be working our way through it to me this is what I kind of call like the astrological new year we've got that fire in our belly and we're ready to do whatever it takes to take us to this beautiful dream life that we are on the journey to manifest so this is from April the 1st to the 7th. Now, the beginning of the week, so from Monday to Thursday, we're gonna be going through the balsamic moon. Check out your affirmation. I reflect with gratitude and take time to rest. This is the perfect time to go to bed a little bit earlier, maybe sleep in a little bit, take a day off if you can, spend as much time outside in mother nature as you possibly can, do whatever you can, to just relax, whatever that looks like for you. That could be bubble baths, that could be, you know, um, a turmeric latte that you make on the stove. Whatever floats your boat, I want you to do more of that this week and kind of allow those things that have been on your mind to keep you really, really busy and active just to take a break. This is like your permission to slip, to say, you know, do whatever you need to do to take care of you. Then on Friday, we have the new moon in 15 degrees of Aries. This is very exciting energy. This is, oh, I don't know, this is kind of like my favorite time of the year. Not only are we moving into Aries, which is my sun sign, it's my birthday next week and I'm turning flipping 32 and I am so excited. I'll tell you more about the number 32 next week. Um, but yeah, to me, I think of when we move into this Aries energy, it's like the beginning of the zodiac sign. You know, we were in that Pisces watery energy, um, which felt like forever. I'm sure that you're quite glad that Mercury retrograde is now finished and we've got that fire back in our belly. And you may have noticed a little shift last week. Now, this is a general reading where I'm gonna be using the Shadowscapes Tarot. So just take from this what feels best for you. So. With that being said, let's see what we need to know. Let's see what we need to know for Monday. Collectively, no matter where you are in the world. Ooh, it's force, it's very um, bold. I think that's probably the best word. It's very bold energy. There's a lot of cards that came, but the first one that I saw is actually the Knight of Wands. Whoa, this is like you're on a mission to whatever things make you feel good. Wands is to me is like passion projects, like what lights your soul on fire. This could be career, this could be an interest that you absolutely love, but this is you not wavering no matter what's going on. This is you like harnessing this beautiful energy and knowing that, oh, hold on a moment because this is in balsamic moon energy. But this is still movement. This is like you're like unwavering. Some, okay, maybe some of you are, maybe this is an opportunity for some of you to just take time to be like, you know, it's about working smarter and not harder. It's like, yeah, you need to do this, 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 and this, but it's not all about the grind and the hustle. It's about alignment, becoming a vibrational match to what you want. And if you watch my stories on Thursday last week, when I kind of did like a work with me Wednesday, but on Thursday, I didn't intend for it to happen, but I just kind of showed my whole day like behind the scenes of what it's like um you know to manifest my dream clients and the work in which that i do and it's interesting to be like when you take time away to get yourself in alignment things just magnetically get drawn to you so i know that this is like a fast moving energy towards where you're going but this is also knowing that it's okay it's okay to take a step back so you can work smarter and not harder. There was a lot of cards that came. I just want to pull the next one and then I'll leave the rest of them. Oh, okay. So the tower. I'm sure a lot of you um, have seen the, maybe the beginning signs of the tower, but maybe actually haven't made, taken, oh, what do you call it? I don't know. There's a lot of people that I spoke to last week on strategy sessions and they're all about moving, um, not only leaving a relationship, but also like moving 
to find their own peace and remove themselves from toxicity. I don't know what this looks like for you in your life, but this is like moving in the direction of what feels good for you. And yeah, it can be painful, but as you break three, I want to break free. You knew that I had to sing that one, didn't you? <laughs> you know, as you're breaking free of what doesn't serve you, take time to rest, you know? It's like, rest your head. I heard, oh, I heard in my head, rest your head weary one. So it's okay to take a break. I think that's kind of what I'm trying to tell you. All right, what do we need to know for Tuesday? I just got really hungry right then. I don't know if it's because it's 12.52 and I haven't had lunch yet, but I had a really late breakfast or something's happening with hunger on Tuesday. I don't know. Um, angels, what do my MK love fam need to know for Tuesday? Whoa, the energy is super bold. Like they're coming out in massive stacks. So let me just pull the first card and see what that is. Oh, okay, so the high priestess. So this is your intuition. So as you're taking time away, I know that you're like, I gotta do this, 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 and this, but as you kind of draw back just a little bit, I'm not saying that you have to completely stop work. Um, so interesting, I said completely stop work and then all of a sudden my brain just went, like it's kind of like the the powering down that's how I just felt then that's never happened before it's like it's like my angels just put like if you've ever been in like a flotation tank or if you've um when I was in Hawaii and I went into the Gong. if you, I know some of you follow Dr. Master Gong Sha he's a healer that I met when I was in Honolulu like years ago I vlogged it and when I was in the Gong, it was just like this beautiful high frequency room I walked in and I was like I literally felt like I was floating um, so I feel like you need to get into that state of floating that state of bliss this could be you just just laying on your bed watching a movie this could be you laying I don't know on a picnic blanket having um, chai tea latte outside just in your backyard i don't know this could literally you be laying in a bath that i felt the feeling of floating and in that state of floating where there's your things aren't like rushing around your head you're able to hear things that you haven't heard before because you're in a higher vibration you're in the receptive mode it's like if you listen to abraham hicks it's like tuning into the right station to hear the messages in which your angels are trying to receive like send you so you can receive them i kind of feel like that was, I've never felt that before. It's so interesting as I read for different people and as my gifts are changing, I feel different things. Like this week, side story, this week as I was journaling, I was asking to communicate with someone who I, who's on the other side hasn't come through yet. And I said, take over the pen and tell me what you're thinking. And then I read it back and I bawled my eyes out. I was like, holy shit. I didn't even know I could do that. So, yeah, I just feel like work smarter, not harder. Less is more, I'm feeling. Less is more. Get into that floating state. What, what comes up for you as soon as I said that floating state? Like, what does that look like for you in your life? Does that mean a bath? Does that mean laying outside? Where do you feel good? Take yourself to that area. Uh, Wednesday. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wednesday there was three cards, but the first card that I saw was actually the Six of Wands, which to me just screams like, victory! Um, it's also a massive accomplishment. There was two other cards with came, that came with that. Oh, bloody hell, you won't believe it. <laughs> the Justice card, which is all about finding the balance, which we've been talking about since January. I can't make this stuff up, like this is crazy. And then we also got the Five of Wands. So you've been going through a lot of contrast. You've found your balance. Well, so you're kind of like reflecting on like every, like where you have been and like lining everything up and going like, I did this, I did this, I did this. But some of you may be like, I didn't do this. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Well, why the heck didn't you do it? Why aren't you striving for your balance? I feel like so many of you are stuck in this fear state and you're living lives that you know that isn't in alignment with where you want to be. It's so powerful to know that everything that you have always ever possibly dreamed of, it is possible for you to become a vibrational match to manifest it. That's how I became a vibrational match to my husband, Peter. That's how I became a vibrational match to get out of Bali super quick into Ireland within 
no joke, there was le less, less than 24 hours in which we said, okay, we're gonna look at flights now. Okay, we're gonna cancel this flight and we're gonna get on that flight. And then we, got, we only lost like $200 from canceling one and then rebooking another. Like, that's nothing. I was prepared to lose the whole um, lot for the, the, I don't know why I'm telling you this. I was prepared, like I surrendered. I'm like, you know, that money, forget about it. If it's rightfully mine, it will come back and it did. And I kind of was talking about that. Oh, I just looked at the clock and it's at 11, 11. Um, so I've been speaking for 11 and 11. I'm only on Wednesday. Ah! Okay, what I'm basically saying is in terms of you getting to this victory, the backstory of this is like you're finding your balance and you're working out that you're not dealing with other people's shit anymore. This could be your own shit too and getting out of your own way and saying, I deserve all the delicious goodness that I have ever possibly imagined. And knowing that when you raise your vibration, you get to a higher state of consciousness. And when you're at like the top five tier, that's when your angels are like, boom, this is gonna happen. Boom, this is gonna happen. Boom. What the heck? You're no different from me. And if you're struggling with that, then you need to check out my free exclusive training. But I'll tell you more about that later. And I can't wait to introduce you to one of my beautiful dream clients, Eva, who is the most incredible artist. Um, she filmed a testimonial about our eight week program. Oh, I can't wait to share it with you. She's so bloody cute. Oh, okay. So for Thursday, so we're still in the balsamic moon for Thursday. Ooh, the seven of wands. So this could be protection. This is conflict, but this is also like protecting your bubbers, like protecting, it's like the mama bear protecting the bubbers. This could be protect, what are you trying to protect? Like, what are you trying to protect so much that you're willing to stand up for yourself, to fight for what you believe in? Like, why? what are you protecting? I just, yeah, this is kind of like, I won't back down and I won't give up. It's like, you're not giving up, you're fighting for what's yours. <laughs> This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove I'm a right song. Da, 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 da. Speaking of Hawaii, I listened to that song on the beach on repeat. When was that? Like 2000 and I don't know, 15? Whenever Denny got married. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I remember sitting on the beach listening to it. I'm like, yeah, I'm taking back my life. Yeah, I'm not dealing with all this bullshit anymore. I'm incredible. You know, no, no, no. It's like, what do you need to do to raise your vibration? What are you protecting? What, what are you so scared is going to fall away? I feel like so many of you, well, people I spoke to this week on the strategy sessions are so scared of losing what they've got because they really don't know who they are without their trauma. They don't know who they are without this significant other. They don't know who they are because they have been so caught in this cyclical cycle of abuse and they don't look, I don't know how to get out of it. It's possible, I'm living proof that you can do it. Whatever you're struggling with, there is always a way out. There is always a silver lining. There is, sometimes it can come in the form of a divine intervention. You're like, why is this happening? But it is divinely orchestrated. I feel like that's only for a small number of you, but I feel like so many of you are on the path and you're like, boom, this is where I need to be. Okay, so um, Friday. So this is the new moon in 15 degrees of Aries. Oh, some cards have flipped and I had no idea. Oh, shiver me timbers, love. Okay. This is not the card I would expect for a new moon. Maybe a full moon, but a new moon. So we have the three of swords. The three of swords is about pain, forgiveness. It's about getting to a stage where you have no choice but to change what you're doing. If you feel that what you are doing now is setting you up for success, to program your mind for all of the goodness that you want, then you are on the right track. You are in alignment with your true authentic self. But if you feel like you're not, and you've gotten to the stage where you're like, I wanna heal, I'm ready. I'm, tell me what I need to do. You need to figure out a way in which you can get this healing. How does that healing look for you? What comes up for you when you see this card? Like this is not a pretty card, but this is a card that is mirroring to you the wounds that you have been masking. The wounds that you have been like 
like putting on a mask and be like, ah, on camera again, you know, it's like, what's going on behind it? When you take the mask off, when you go to bed at night and you put your head on your pillow, what's the pain that's troubling you? Is there pain? Is there no pain? Have you freed yourself from this pain? Are you learning who you are without this pain? There's so many layers to this. This is about forgiveness. Why is this coming up on the new moon? The other card that came up with that one is actually the Queen of Swords. So there's contrast. It's interesting because as I was going through the astrology for this, there is a, I don't understand astrology, but let me just pull up what I read to figure out what's going on. So it says the new moon on Friday, April the 5th at 15 degrees of Aries is square Saturn. Although this is a challenging aspect, the new moon is more promising because of its fortunate fixed star. Fixed star of what? Let me just read the summary. The new moon offers wealth, happiness and success. But the square to Saturn means that you have to try hard and you need to really want it. Well, that's what we've seen fighting for what's rightfully yours. Damn, I'm good. Um, there can be no shortcuts to success for this new moon. This new moon will help you identify any sadness, fears, or inhibitions. Release your inhibitions, which is what I saw on this card here. Um, that stand in your way prof of professional success, which is what we're talking about, the ones, passion projects. Whoa. Um, professional success or companionship may bring about travel and work or romance, help you heal the inner journey to get back on the path. Okay, so this is helping you get back on the right. I'm on the right track, baby, I was born this way. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so the pain in which you're feeling, you'll. I feel like, let's get more cards. Because we've got the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords is actually a really, really beautiful card. It's like you have been through um, uh, risk it all for this life we choose. It's all an adventure comes with the breathtaking view. Walk in a tight rope with you. Ooh, 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 with you. Tightrope. Tightrope's your anthem for this week, which is crazy. I love that song. So you're healing the darkness, but you're starting something new. So maybe you're going into something prepared that you're like, this is what I need to do. It's interesting because my coaching program begins on the new moon in 15 degrees of Aries on Friday. And that's about healing the wounds that you have been like trying to mask for so long and to put on your brave face. But it's like, there is so much beauty that is coming through this because you're getting, it, it depends where you're at. Cause this is a general reading. You could be at the stage where you've like, you faced a layer, but now it's like you're coming through the end. Oh, let's keep going. There's so many cards that, all my cards are all over the shop. Let's be honest. There's so many cards that have flipped. Oh, I feel like I have to pull that card. I've got to pull this next one that just dropped. So I'm going to pull this one for... <laughs> okay, so Saturday. So Saturday, okay, we have the 10 of wands. So this is taking on too much. This is like, you're trying to like, this could be you trying to help other people before you help yourself. And it's actually affecting yourself in a way of stress, manifesting illness and disease. This is like, this is an opportunity for you to like simplify. I feel throat chakra pain. <clears throat> Speak up for yourself. You need to delegate, delegate. You need to take a day off, do it. Don't feel guilty for it, but try and get your day off and the rest at the beginning of the week so you're prepared for what's to come. Okay, let's see what we need to know for Sunday and then I need to pull the card of the week. Holy heck. Um, angels, Sunday please. Just one card. What do they need to know? I'm feeling massive communication. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> that was like, boom. Okay, um, so the Eight of Pentacles. Was the Seven of Pentacles when she was picking the fruit, which was about timing, and now it's like you've done the hard yards? It's like you think about like, in terms of like a life of a spider. <laughs> 
let's get down to the spider's level. It's gonna take, a, it's like you've, you've had to catch. Hold on, let me just figure out what this is. I feel, I, I see someone like running around the shops, like a mad woman going like, where's the specials? Put that in my trolley. Where's the vegetables? Get this in my trolley. I feel like you've done the hard work and now it's like an opportunity for you to, oh, there's people in the tree. You see in the, the tree branches over the top, I see three faces. So this is abundance that you have collected is you have done a lot of the hard yards. Let's get clarity on that one. Oh, okay. Ah, Eight of Wands, which is speaking into existence what you want. But you're beginning something new. I reset my intention and feel the emotions associated. How does that fit in with the new moon? So speaking what you want into existence. But you're, I feel like it's healing. It's healing, it's simplifying, but it's also like you have come so far. Don't you dare forget how far you have come. I feel like so many of you get caught up and be like, I want to be here, but I'm here. It's like, don't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 22. You know, you have no idea what they've had to, to get, had to go through in order to get to that stage of like healing and success. You know, when you hear people say, oh, she was an overnight success. I'm like, that's bullshit. That's absolute bullshit. It's like people have to, um, I thought of Keith Urban then. I don't know if some of you, if you, well, I'm sure you know Keith Urban, but I remember listening to his story and he was saying that as he was preparing to to get well known and to get a record label. He was like mowing lawns for 10 years, but still doing his side hustle. You know, he put in the work to get to where he wants to. It didn't just happen overnight. It's interesting because on that um, thing that I read before, it says there is no shortcuts to success. You have to put in the work. What do you actually want? What do you actually want to manifest for this moon cycle? Think about what does your dream life look like? Then segment to be like, okay, where do I want to be in six months? It's going to bring me closer to where I need to. Do I want to stay where I want to, st where I am right now? Is it serving my highest good? If it's not, you have to change something. You have to heal something. You can't just like can't carry on putting on this mask because it's not going to end well. Because your angels are saying you're, you're, you're taking on too much. There's too much stress and strain here. You have to simplify things. But you have to protect yourself, protect your vibration. Are you living in a toxic situation? Do you feel like you need to move? Why the hell do you want to stay where you are? Okay. What's the focus for the week, angels? Focus for the week. Ace of Swords. Clearing the slate. Ooh. And then the door just slammed downstairs. Clearing the slate. Starting something new. There's butterflies. So you have done... Let's get clarity. You've gotten to a level where you... Remember I've been telling you for a while, clear the slate. What does that look like? How do you need to... Do you need to remove people... Do you need to remove yourself from a home? Do you need to do the Komari method? What do you need to, what did you actually remove? What did you change? Because you got to a level of conflict recently, probably came up during Mercury retrograde in Pisces, which was really difficult, but we're still technically in the shadow aspect of that, which if you're new to my channel, Mercury is the planet that rules communication, travel, and transport. Electronics, communication, travel, and electronics. I feel like the challenges that you have been through aren't going to be there in the same way, but you have free will. Do you actually want to heal or do you just like the idea of it? All right, let's, I just want clarity on the Ace of Swords. What exactly? Because it's like, okay. Oh, it's about contrast. All right. Another Swords. So the Six of Swords is like being wanting to be carried away. This could be taken two ways. Do you actually not want to deal with it? 
or you're removing yourself from a situation. Okay, so contrast is kind of like the over -rhyme, rhyming aspect, riding aspect of this week. And it's all about walking that tightrope. What's the lyrics to that song? Tightrope, greatest showman. Some people long for a life that is simple and planned, tied with a ribbon. Some people won't sail the sea cause they're safer on land. To follow what's written, but I follow you to the great unknown. Known. Hand in my hand and we promise to never let go. I feel like it's all about the tightrope. What are you prepared? To... Yeah, because it's like some people have the idea of what their life is meant to look like and when things are challenged and they're different and it isn't as the way you had envisioned, there's a lot of aspects that come into play. It could be family, it could be your friends and saying, oh, you have to do this, 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 and this. What do you actually want to do? What sets your heart on fire? Do the things that feel good to you. If you feel like this is the time where you need to heal your pain, flip and do it. Don't wait another 10, 20, 30 years to do it. We all shriveled up and you're like miserable and you're like, I didn't do what I wanted to do. Well, it's your own fault. You have the opportunity every single day that you wake up, you know, you just look at the ceiling like, I am so happy and grateful to be alive. I love my bed, I love my pillow, I love my beautiful view outside my room, I love my slippers, I love my microphone, I love my new flipping desk, I love my background. You have an opportunity to be grateful every single day and if you are not feeling that gratitude, you have to shift something. Otherwise, you're gonna get shit on, you know? It's not gonna be pretty. You have an opportunity to heal. Every single person that is like a overnight success story has been through hell. You know, it's as simple as that. You don't, you know, you can become a vibrational match and that becomes effortless, but you still have to put in work to become a vibrational match. You don't just wake up and be like, oh, money flows to me freely, endlessly and avalanches of abundance. That's really good, but you have to keep that high state of consciousness throughout the day. Anyways, if you're struggling, I feel like this is the week where it's like, didn't really expect it because the new moon, I thought it was like, oh, lovely and all that kind of stuff, which it is, but it's, this is an opportunity for you to heal. And it marries with what's going on with the astrological events, which always seems to be the case because, you know, angels already know what's going on. That's like um, Gregory Scott says on his channel, as above, so below. Um, yeah. Oh my God. I'm so excited because I paid for a reading with him six months ago and I've been on his waiting list and he finally gets to read for me on my birthday next week, which I'm so excited about. So yeah, a lot going on. Before you leave, and if you're on the live chat, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, because I know that there's about 30 of you high vibe souls that join me every single time Weekly Angel Guidance is live. And I love chatting with you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyways, if you're watching the replay, I just want to say thank you. But before you go, I really want you to meet Eva. She was my first dream client to say yes. Um, she's 22. She's been through hell and back. And you just go and meet her. And it's just two minutes, two minutes and 50 seconds. Here's Eva. Hi guys, my name is Eva. I live in Scotland and today I'm really excited to share with you some of my experience with Mel's coaching program. But before I get to all of that, I would like to give you a bit of an insight into what my life was like before the program. So simply put it, I would take a ride on this sick emotional roller coaster every single day. I lacked self-confidence and I thought that my happiness had to be channeled through happiness of others. Moreover, I had some blockages which originated from my childhood trauma, but all of that was taken care of during the course. I learned how to make myself a priority, how to fight fear, how to speak my truth, and I literally, quite, quite literally, faced my demons and managed to release and unblock those blockages and I set myself free. Guys, I don't even have enough time to tell you how much this course gave me, but I experienced this massive shift which enabled me to grow spiritually as a person and which helped me to step out of my own shadow. I manifested so many amazing things, even three weeks into the course I manifested this bike, I always wanted a bike and I managed to manifest it three weeks into the course with Melanie. And next month, 
guess what? I'm, I'm, I'm moving into this amazing, beautiful Victorian house I always wanted. I, have, I manifested, I'm moving, it's happening, and I still can't believe it. It's been, a, it's been a wild ride, let me tell you that. But all of this happened thanks to Melanie who taught me how to build new foundations. And I must admit, I wasn't the best student possible 24-7 and I slipped and I, when I lacked discipline, she did not hesitate. She was a real coach and I'm really happy to say that because she was amazing and she put me back on, tr back on track so I could keep going and keep, and, keep, and keep growing as a person and be my own best example. And Beware though, this coaching program is not all unicorns and roses all the time, not at all. It's painful at times, it's challenging, it's demanding, it's dedication, it's a huge dedication to yourself. And most importantly, it's a promise from you to you to live fully and without regrets. And if a fear junkie like me can do it or could achieve all of this, and there is not a single doubt in my mind that you can too. Believe in yourself and you will move mountains. So do not hesitate and take this chance. The future is yours. Bye.